The following is a sports presentation of the University of Nebraska's radio station. Your home of continuous coverage of the Nebraska Cornhuskers, 90.3 KRNU, Lincoln, Nebraska. Penrice for Husker Countdown. Sometimes all it takes is one. And for Frost, finally, that first win as Nebraska head coach. Nebraska's school record 10 game losing streak is over. Last Saturday, the team got their first win in 357 days with a dominant 53 to 28 win over Minnesota. The Cornhuskers racked up more yards than they ever have in a Big Ten game since entering the conference in 2011 and had three rushers with over 100 yards for the first time in eight years and only the fifth time in school history. Finally, some evidence to back up Scott Frost claims. I'm so proud of this team. They could have quit a long time ago. They could have shut it down. This team every week does more of what we ask them, does it, does it better, keeps getting better, and that was a pretty good show out there today. What a show it was, especially from true freshman quarterback Adrian Martinez. Martinez off the fake, Martinez walks in for six. The 18-year-old who never saw one day in the 1990s racked up over 400 all-purpose yards and had as many total touchdowns as he had in completions. That stunning effort led him to a co-Big Ted Freshman of the Week award. Very cool to receive, uh, definitely honored and want to keep building upon it and, and hopefully uh, kind of garner some more of those in the future. The youngster isn't as interested in accolades as he is in getting his team back on track. In order to do that, Martinez understands that one win is just that, one. He and the rest of his team need to be on the hunt for more. Thankful that we pulled this one out, but just kind of stay level-headed here, put things in perspective. You know, we haven't arrived yet. Uh, as good as this feels, um, I think we need to feel more of this moving forward. Strong words from one of the team's youngest, but maybe most mature players. Martinez and his teammates enjoyed a day off on Monday at the beginning of what was supposed to be their bye week. Maybe you remember week one when the Huskers game against Akron was canceled. Well, it's the reason they're playing today. Their opponent, Bethune-Cookman, an FCS team out of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference that is getting paid $800,000 to be here today. But that doesn't mean they'll be taken any less seriously by Scott Frost and his staff. We needed a game. I want our guys to be able to play 12 games. I'm not sure if they'd have turned it down. We're paying them quite a bit of money. We want to go out and, and play as hard as we can and try to get a win. I know they want to do the same thing. They trusted us that our intentions were right in regards to this game. We're glad to host them. Got a lot of respect for them and their coaching staff and their players. So looking forward to a good game. What happened last week was perhaps the start of what could be an incredible turnaround for Nebraska. Or it could have been just a normal win and a small step toward a better foundation. Whatever it was, there's something that can't go unnoticed. The Huskers were 0-6, but by looking at the crowd, it was impossible to tell. There's not another place in the country you could be 0-6 and, and have that kind of energy in a full stadium. These fans are incredible. I can't tell how much I appreciate them, and they, they've been so supportive even through all this. And, and I think the vast, vast majority of them can see some of the struggles we've been going through, but can also see the improvement and can see where this is going. And every single one of the recruits commented on it. If it's this way right now, I can't wait to see it once we get this thing rolling. It's going to be a lot of fun around here. The Huskers certainly got it going last week against Minnesota. A record day on offense and an 18-year-old running the show. The change that the new coach has been talking about is finally becoming visible. They'll undoubtedly be looking to build off of that today against their first FCS opponent since 2014. Husker Countdown starts right now. If you are what you say you are, yeah. a superstar, then have no fear. The camera's here and the microphones and they want to know. Oh, oh, oh. The if you are what you say.
to Andrew Bunch, takes the snap, throws it out to Spielman. Spielman has some room, touchdown, diving for the end zone, J.D. Spielman on that beautiful screen pass, well-designed play. Montez has it, gets pressure, gets crushed. Khalil Davison on the sack for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's gonna be caught by Stanley Morgan, midfield down the right boundary. 35-30, Morgan to the 20, to the 15, dancing down the sideline, he'll salsa his way in for six. Handoff over left guard, Ozigbo plunges into the end zone. Husker lead, it's nine to seven. Pass is gonna be caught for a touchdown by Nebraska by Jack Stoll, the tight end. Martinez gets the snap, Washington again, breaks the tackle across the five, and he's in for the touchdown. Maurice Washington with a four yard skimmer, and Nebraska is up multiple possessions in the fourth quarter, it's 26 to 14. Hornibrook sets his feet, still looking, dances, out boundary, pass intercepted, it's by Aaron Williams, it's a pick six in the Nebraska Blackshirts return the favor against Wisconsin. It's a 12 yard INT return for points, and the Huskers are a point away from a tie game. Broadcasting live from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska, 90.3 KRNU proudly presents Husker Countdown. Got an angel on my shoulder and my star for leaves, but my 